Hello guys. So I have a crafty problem. So I should be actually planning my week right now. Nope, not planning my week. I am um, gonna be crafting. So I'm making some bubbles right now because I wanted to, I want some boba tomorrow. Um, when I get up for work and like make some coffee or something, I could throw in some boba, whatever. I just really want some all of a sudden. Um, so I'm making some of that right now, but like I got home, I showered real quick and all I wanna do is craft. I honestly have a problem with crafting because all I ever do want to do is craft. I even went to go see my boyfriend yesterday when I dropped off the oatmeal. And I was like, I'm not going to stay long. I need to go home and craft. Literally, that's what I said. And he totally understood and he let me go craft. And he was like, n like okay with it. You know, he didn't complain or like, what? Like, that's like, no. He was just like, I know you love crafting and go craft. Um, so he's super supportive in that. But... I honestly have a problem because all I ever want to do is craft. I think about crafting all day. I just, I made a list today. Um, instead of me planning out my week, I made a list of the things I want to craft. Like, honestly, I have a problem and I don't know what to do about it. Like, what do I do? Do I quit my job and just craft all day? <laughs> like, okay, I can't actually do that. But wouldn't that be awesome if I could just quit my job and craft all day? Like, I don't know. It's just like such a pulling for me to just just to, to just craft I don't know what it is I don't know why but all I want to do is craft so let's see what does my uh, list say today I want to make um, a teapot card with my new die I want to make a pumpkin die I want to make a cutting f oh I got to make a cutting file for um so uh let me talk about the cutting file this is going to be more work though but um I'm sure you guys know or maybe have heard of Heartfelt Creations, but basically it creates these awesome flowers. So they sell the mold, which gives you like some kind of more crinkly and like, I don't know, kind of effect. So they have that. They also have the stamp so that you could stamp it and, you know, um, make it pretty or whatever. Oh, I have a die too. Oh, oh, I don't have to do that. I thought I didn't have the die for some reason. But look at that, I have the dye too. Oh, I guess I, okay, I guess you kind of need the dye. You need the mold, um, you need the mold, so the mold, then you need the dye, uh, the stamp and the dye, so that you do the stamp first, then you cut it out with the dye, and then you run it through the mold, and it creates like the thing. Okay, so I could cross that off my to-do list, because here for some reason I thought I needed to, like if I stamped them and then I made a dye, that would be cool. And I guess I could have totally done that still, right? I could have stamped this. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I could have, like, traced the stamped image if I created it and then had my silhouette cut it out. But I don't, like, I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking, like, originally when I did that, I was thinking I can do that at first. And then for some reason, I was thinking, like, no, I actually can't do that. I don't know. But, yeah, I have that. So, yay! cross that off my to-do list because I don't actually got to do that so that makes me happy I really should also organize a whole bunch of dies so I have these dies but these are not yet organized and I have these ones that are not yet organized and these ones but these are Alina craft right here this one and this one is Alina craft so is this one and this one um, and then this one is also Alina craft I believe I think I have to look at that one up on AliExpress, but like these all need labels and stuff and I actually need to order more of these because I ran out and I need to make more with magnetic sheets and these are all Alina craft They all need to get organized at some point, but like why do I want to waste time? Organizing what I could be crafting, you know, I don't know such a problem guys Okay, but you know what? I do need to place my Amazon order and order more of the card board card chipboard is a chipboard um and the magnetic sheets, I need to order more of those. And I do actually also need to order some more red cardstock because now that I make like my coffee cup cards and I make the apple um, cards for like teacher appreciation, um, I just kind of like run out of those all the time. So um, I need to buy more of those. Yeah, I should order another pack like should I order one should I order two we'll order one um so I need to order some of that and I want to craft okay I'm 
we're gonna craft as soon as I place this order and we're gonna figure out what to watch on Netflix or Lifetime. All right guys, so I was gonna play with the pumpkin die, but for some reason I really wanna play with my teapot die. So I know I made like a teapot card before, but I really also wanted to get this die. This is from KS Craft um, on AliExpress. I'll have a link down below, but um, I really wanted to play with this. So I'm scoring a sheet of paper right now. I just scored it in half because I'm gonna make this into a card, but I also wanna try to make this into a shaker. So that's gonna be fun. Um, don't know how it's gonna turn out yet, but we shall see. And I'm just gonna have fun creating, I guess. <laughs> So I'll take you guys along the process um, and do like a little montage of me creating. Guys, this is one of the most tough things I ever had to make. So I have this teacup die and I really wanted to make a shaker. Didn't know, oops, sorry, didn't know if I could make a shaker out of it, but I did. Added in way too many sequins, but we can't really do anything about it, so we're gonna go with it. I was just like adding sequins and I thought I had too little and then I ended up with too much. Um, but I did make a shaker. So it looks cute. Very full, as you guys could see. And I'm trying right now to not move it around too much because some of my little pink pieces started getting stuck in the sides already. And I tried to like glue down every single inch. Um, but yeah, I think it like it looks better when it's obviously like shaken. But yeah, I got a little bit way too much um, shaker filler in there. But I can't do anything. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just trying to like let this um, do its thing and then I could decorate it later. But this is very frustrating. But I did figure out the die. So that's good. I have a whole bunch of like leftover pieces now and stuff. But... And I could still use this tea party, which I think would look really cute. Might be too much, but I don't know. Um, so basically what I have to do is put this piece together with this piece to kind of make the frame of the shaker. Um, and then this piece needed the back and the acetate cut out of this. And then um, I needed the middle. With this piece, I needed the foam. And then I also needed the top layer decorative piece. So... Yeah, just very full looking now, but hopefully, I mean, I think it works. The colors look good on the inside, I think. I don't know, but now like decorating it, like I don't know what to do. Like I kind of want to make this gold, but then I'm like, is that too much? Um, but I have this top piece that could be gold. I think it would cute, look cute because just that is just not enough for me. Um, and then I can do the tea party die and I think that might look cute. I'm not really sure guys. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But I feel like I wanted to cut out this part of it 
and this part to make the handle gold and this tip gold and the top gold, but I just don't know. Oh guys, I decided I would cut apart the gold and I think that looks so good. And then this piece is gonna go right up there. I think that adds a little something um, that was like missing maybe before. There's still way too much shaker in here, but I really just can't do anything about it unless I start taking it out and shoveling it out with a spoon. Maybe I should do that actually. Okay, let me try. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay guys, and I think I'm finished. I just cannot think anymore. I think it looks pretty cute. There's just so much going on, like I can't really add too much to here. Um, but I think it's cute that it just says tea party and it's a nice little shaker. I think that's mad cute. And I love all the little detail on here. And this gold, the sequins and everything. Let me know what you guys think. This is my crafty thing for today. It took me forever to make, but I do think it came out pretty cute. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I could also attach it to this card base I was thinking. Let me know if this is better. Um, but I could attach it to, hold on. So I could attach it to this card and then I could open up and be a card. I haven't decided like what to do with it yet, but I do love that it's a shaker. Okay, I'm gonna go quickly make myself something to go eat or something to eat and then I'm gonna make my way over to bed. It is already 10.30. I don't even know if I can eat anything. Maybe like a little snack and then I'm going to bed because I am hungry. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.